Well, of course, Central Florida is a top tourist destination in the world. But if you pull back the curtains and look a little closer, you'll also find one of the worst affordable housing crises in the country, forcing some people onto the streets. Yeah, there are an estimated 400 tent encampments in Orange County alone, and one of the most visible is in Orlando's Paramore neighborhood. I discovered there is a new push to get results for that neighborhood, where homelessness has turned into a big issue for small businesses. Thank you for calling Dexter's. A few months ago, Jennifer Yawn became the manager at Dexter's on Church Street, a restaurant in the heart of Paramore next to Exploria Stadium. What's that experience been like for you? Well, it's been great with the attractions on both sides, um, but the downside is the homelessness that will sometimes walk through the doors or um, panhandle the customers that are walking in or um, try to charge them for parking. The lifelong Orange County resident says she's worked with other restaurants in Ocoee and Dr. Phillips, but for her, this historic neighborhood has a new set of challenges. Every game every attraction if you look out there they will have found an orange jacket or a vest and they are definitely positioning themselves and charging people to park. Obviously being in the area we are affected by homelessness uh, a lot um, with people breaking in, in into our space or just stealing things. Benny De Jesus is a superintendent for a general contractor. Their office and several of their projects are in Paramore. I don't think it's like a cop issue per se or like a law enforcement more than like this city needs resources for these people. Do you think this situation is going to get worse or going to get better? Well, I I'm hoping it's going to get better. I asked Orlando leaders what is being done to get results. We're going to put a lot of money uh, into uh, helping those that are experiencing homelessness, those that are experiencing uh, mental health issues, but shelter and affordable housing is the key. We have a new squad that is devoted specifically Sergeant 8 police officers that are devoted towards the solicitation um, and people living in tents. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer is hopeful the new squad will be able to respond to issues like the parking concerns rather than relying on patrol officers. I remember a number of years ago that I saw some individuals who were collecting money from people to park in public parking spots on the street. So we're aware of that activity happening sometimes and trying to not have that happen. But quite honestly, there are people that are doing it legitimately. Party for four, what time? As for Jan, she will continue to field calls for reservations and respond to the reservation she says some customers have while planning a visit to her restaurant. Have a great day. Now, Commissioner Hill mentioned money coming to the city. They've recently received more than $58 million in federal grants. It's being used to build more affordable housing in Paramore. They also plan to build a new access center to help people find jobs and get other services. We've seen cities out west really struggle mm -hmm. with this tent city thing. Are we starting to see some results yet, or is right. it going to take some we time? We are actually seeing some results. So I was down in Paramore today. Those tents that you saw in that video, they're all gone now. Oh, wow. And I was actually down there about a week and a half ago. They were not visible then either. Um, and I know a lot of those people have been moved into apartments and more uh, affordable housing, some hotels as well. So these initiatives are working, but of course it takes a long time yeah, to really sure make a difference. Yeah, it's a yeah. tough situation. All right, Lisa Bell, mm -hmm. very interesting.